After a long three weeks of summer break, Formula One finally returns this weekend for the Belgian Grand Prix 2021. An important weekend for the championship contenders in Drivers and Constructors Championships, Belgian Grand Prix could prove to be the turning point for this year's championship. Two back-to-back -back accidents meant that Max Verstappen finally lost his championship lead to Lewis Hamilton, while Red Bull lost its lead to Mercedes in the Constructors' Championship. Here are the three key things to watch out for in the Belgian Grand Prix 2021. Number 1. Red Bull's Response to the Mercedes Challenge Red Bull has been put to a very tricky situation currently with heavy repair bills after the major incidents involving Max Verstappen's car and the budget restrictions really giving them really less room for further mistakes or bad luck. And this means even though Max Verstappen is now behind Lewis Hamilton in the title, we could see Max being more cautious than before and maybe even give Lewis room in situations where it could otherwise lead to major incidents. With the budget affecting everyone in the team, we could see a similarly cautious approach by Sergio Perez as well and that means the aggressive defense that we have seen in many races so far this season might not happen in Spa. Number 2. Exciting battle in the midfield Nothing separates Ferrari and McLaren in the points table with both teams at 163 points as they head to the summer break. With Ricardo still struggling to get grips with the car, chances are Ferrari will continue its upward trajectory and McLaren could slip down to 4th position after Spa. The battle for the 5th spot is also intensifying with Alpine and AlphaTauri separated by just 9 points. Depending on whether Yuki Tsunoda is able to perform well this weekend and whether Alpine can continue their brilliant form from Hungary, we could see an exciting race in the midfield in Spa. Number 3 fight for the third. London Norris sits at the third position currently with 113 points with Bottas at fourth with 108 and Perez fifth with 104. With a handful of races getting cancelled this season, it is critical for all the three drivers to put their best performances each weekend to ensure they end up in the third position at the end of the season. For Bottas, the performance could mean he could have the possibility to retain the Mercedes seat. For Perez, a third finish at season end would mean Red Bull will for sure keep him for 2022. The equation for Norris is a bit different with for the third position cementing him as the clear number one driver in the team ahead of his much more experienced teammate Daniel Ricciardo. Mercedes has won four of the last six Belgium Grand Prix with Hamilton winning three of them. Even though Red Bull has not won a race here in the last six years, they are the clear favourites for this year. But everything is up for grab in that first corner and with championship lead at stake, we could see each driver pushing to the limits and maybe even crashing out again in Spa. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content and stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.